Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the statter and flywheel from one of these dirt bike engines. This is a KX100. All the two strokes are about the same. The four strokes are a little bit different, but they all generally have the same idea. Yeah. You're gonna start with removing your statter cover bolt. not have to remove the shifter for this. Some models might, but not on the KX100. On this KX100, the flywheel nut is a 14 millimeter. And what we're gonna use is this puller. I've tried and used the name brand pullers and the off brand pullers. This is something I bought from eBay for I think like 10 to $12. They all work just as good. I tear down a lot of engines each year with this same puller. Almost every dirt bike utilizes this except for some of the KTMs. Just thread that in there, it's reverse threads. So you thread it in like you're going in reverse. You're loosening it to the left. You want to get that on there as far as possible, especially if you've got rusted threads. And then it's a 17 millimeter nut on the end. Pop. That's how it comes off. You unscrew it. There you go. Now, if you're pulling your stabber, one thing that nobody told me for many years that you have to use a number three screwdriver tip. These look like that. They're much thicker than your standard number two. They have Chinese versions, I think, or Japanese screwdrivers, but we're not using those. I use an impact and make sure that you're fully seated. And this gets them out every time without stripping them. If you put a number two screwdriver in there, it doesn't fit the same and it's gonna strip. And that is the statter. Very simple to pull, very simple to replace. They're even easy to test. You just use your voltmeter with the, uh, the pins in there with factory specs. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe.